the public sector, do the principles of digitalization equally apply in the context of the public sector? Well, I have been involved in uh, various assignments associated with the public sector, ranging from public authorities. I have also been involved in leading the implementation and development of a business portal across various sectors of a particular government. And I have also been appointed as a subject matter expert for various governments in the Middle East to oversee the process of implementing digital programs uh, and comparing them against best practices. And what are the lessons learned around these issues? Government has its own ch unique challenges and issues that need to be faced. I would like to focus on three main areas. The first area is about really data, because government is wide ranging. So really and truly what you find is a problem where the same data is actually inputted more than once in various places at different public sector entities across government. This concept is called the once only principle. It is vitally important in order to streamline the operations of government and make it more efficient prior to the implementation of new technology to make sure that the same data point is inputted only once and a single point in time. Because if that is not the case, you will end up with the same data being inputted at multiple points and they may conflict against each other. You can have a problem of miscommunication across various government departments and you can have all sorts of issues that would arise that can have an, an impact on the citizen in general. I do recall a case, for example, of a child who unfortunately died and, and uh, the school was and the school was not informed and they issued a penalty to the parents because they did not send their child at school. Now, that is really very heartbreaking for parents to receive such a note. Uh, so there is a clear opportunity and there is quite a lot of importance that need to be placed in order to make sure that all data points are inputted once and in a timely manner. The second point I'd like to highlight is the human resource issue. Obviously, human resource issues are prevalent across various all types of transformation projects. But in government, this is quite enhanced in terms of its importance. Why? Because obviously, when it comes to efficiency, government wants to make sure that he wants to retain employees. And this is the same case even in the private sector, mind you. But obviously, the government has a broader and more important uh, social responsibility uh, for people to make sure that they are integrated in the community. So typically, when I, when I am involved in these uh, transformation projects involved in implementation of digital solutions, what we try to come up is not to reduce people, but rather to use the same people to do more tasks, to become more productive, to be trained in carrying out different types of work, and in making sure that at the end of the day, we be it becomes a win-win situation, both for the employer, who is the government, and for the employee himself, who feels more fulfilled on the place of work. The third aspect, which I think is quite unique in government, uh, is decision-making. Unfortunately, government is plagued with bureaucracy, red tape, procurement rules, uh, uh, recruitment rules, so on and so forth. And sometimes you find it is very difficult for leaders to make appropriate decisions because they are more busy ticking the boxes as opposed to making harder decisions that will have a, a huge impact on the digitalization process of their public sector entity. And this can be solved in a number of ways. One uh, is actually identifying and clearly defining a framework specifically for transformation and potentially also involving the higher levels of government right from the start to make sure that there is buy-in on a government-wide basis before you actually start to implement that digital transformation. Of course, there, there are many more issues that government faces in practice, but these, I think, are just 
the uh, just some snippets of what I think could be challenging issues for the public sector to address when implementing digital transformation projects.